Uh, Mr. Keith Rockwell, welcome. Thank uh, you. You are the spokesperson for uh, WTO. That's and right. And you just came back from the G20 Porto Vallarta meeting yesterday. Yes. You were there and you saw also our Minister Zafar Chalaya. I saw Zafar Chalaya. Can there, you tell us about the meeting? What happened and what did you guys talk about? Well, it was a very important meeting. The Mexicans were very good hosts. The agenda focused really on the way in which we trade today in the 21st century. Increasingly, what we are seeing is that trade takes place in terms of value added. Hmm. That more than half of all trade is intermediate goods and services, and that the world is made up now of global value chains. So products are assembled in different countries, they move across borders. The interconnectedness of the global economy is never more evident than with the way the system is, is organized today in terms of trade. This was a key issue, how to facilitate this sort of thing, how to facilitate trade in terms of smoothing customs procedures. There was a lot of talk about how important it is to fight protectionism. Hmm. It's very important. Our, our trade figures have just come out for last year and the, the growth, while it expanded, the figure was much smaller than we'd hoped for and the projection for this year is for a further deceleration of ex trade expansion to 3.7%. Mm -hmm. All of the ministers there found this to be unacceptably low. At a time of slowing growth, trade can provide a powerful stimulus. So the notion of removing barriers to trade, to encourage these value chains to keep functioning at a very smooth level is something that was on the agenda for everyone there. Mm. And uh, how about our minister? What was his role in there? <laughs> oh, well, Turkey has a very prominent role in the WTO. Yes. Uh, and your minister stressed the importance of... Turkey is really a crossroads in terms of its, its, uh, its links between Asia and Europe, between North and South, in terms of its ability to participate in global value chains, in terms of its ability to be a source for investment, inward and outward, uh, they are a very central player and because of their, of their increasing uh, economic strength, they have a, an, an ever wider role to play in all international organizations, not least the WTO. Mm. And what's the WTO's uh, negotiation agency? What's the role in this whole uh, Well, as you meeting? know, the yeah. Doha negotiations have stalled. Yes. And at the uh, ministerial conference in Geneva in December, the ministers agreed that we should try to examine a couple of different things. One of them is, among the 20 or so topics in the Doha round, are there specific issues that might be riper for agreement than others? Under the previous format, the way things have gone is they've all been linked. So there could be no agreement on any area unless there was agreement on all of them. Hmm. But there may be some areas, like for example, the trade facilitation that I mentioned, where global rules on paperwork, on fees, on goods in transit, common uh, uh, and transparent rules in terms of smoothing the, s the, the flow of goods across borders, if this can be agreed, it would perhaps add as much as $900 billion a year to, uh, to global efficiency. So this is something that all the members discussed. Were there ways perhaps for services to be negotiated, services associated with this, transportation, logistics, communications? Could a deal be reached there? Do you need to have all 153, soon to be mm. 155 members participate? Can you do things plurilaterally? Less agreement among the members on this. Some insisting all members be involved. Others saying, let some people go ahead now if they can. Others can catch up later. Mm. And let's come to that's the last question uh, to this weekend. Uh, yes. What are your expectations from the meetings? Well, we're, we're observers here. The yes. WTO is a trade organization. Uh, we've been watching with great interest, of course. Uh, we're, we're based in Europe. Uh, we uh, have a lot of, uh, of European uh, flavor to us, if you will. So um, the situation there is, of course, a serious one. And um, uh, efforts that can be made that might uh, bring greater stability to Europe are, of course, uh, welcome. Mm. Thank you very much, Mr. Rockwell. A pleasure. Thank you.